Hey Simmers and Animal Lovers, it's Erin with Ice Pony Gaming and welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If we've seen each other before, this is going to be episode 18 of our shelter play along. I know I said that last time, I was wrong. Where we have Hugo who runs and operates Brindleton Animal Rescue, where he takes in strays from around the world of Brindleton Bay and adopts them out to the townies and to families that you upload. What makes this a play along and not a let's play is this guy. Guy, Tito, who is sleeping, he's a sim self of an animal that is actually available for adoption in real life. Tito comes to us from Du Bois County Humane Society, where he is in foster care there waiting for a home right now. He is in therapy to help him use his new leg that he got through surgery. Hugo's very sad today because it was going to be Harvest Fest, but I canceled it because we do not have time for that stuff. Um, while we are waiting for Hugo's therapy to finish up so that he is properly available for adoption, um, we are going to be moving in another foster animal. You guys voted on three cats from Best Friends Animal Society, and we are going to be moving in the winner from those votes today. Very first, he's gonna be taking care of some shelter things first, and then we'll get moving there. We also have another family um, to be able to look for a family for. Oh my goodness, Ash, what's the matter? He was talking to her about his problems because he's sad, but look at this girl and her fleas. Let's, hmm, let's leash her real quick. And we're gonna take her to our handy dandy vet's office. Ooh, looks like somebody needs a bath. Yeah, it looks like we have a few jobs to do today. And we're gonna examine Ash. We're gonna see what's going on with her. This is actually really fun. I am so glad that we have a clinic. Let's examine her chart. So this actually would be happening in a lot of shelters. A lot of them have some sort of clinic, examining room, something like that. Um, let's take her temperature, that's pretty normal. So they can help with things that are common, like kennel cough or, ooh, look at that. Ooh, she's got fleas, three ring circus. Um, should we treat her? Cone of shame, why do we need a cone? Parasite killer, yes. All right, so we're gonna give her some flea and tick medication. And she's actually handling this really, really well. Yay, she's cured, that's awesome. And it only cost us 25 simoleons. That would have cost us way more at a vet clinic. We're gonna praise her for being a good girl and we'll leash her and then bring her back to her kennel. We also have to get her her last trick trained and we're going to be focusing on Arlo today, um, getting our relationship up with him because, let's jog here with her, why not? Um, because I think we found Arlo and Ash's owner and I think it is about time that we have them go. First, we've got to take a look at Enfonio. Oh, he's looking sad. Okay, let's hug him. And we're gonna leash this guy. All right, awesome. So he is getting all nice and clean. And then I think we should stop in and say hi to Arlo. We gotta get our relationship up with him. All right, so we're gonna have Anfonio go there, and then we're gonna give him his ball. Then we're gonna play with the cat one with Arlo. He's such a friendly cat, I think both of them are. And last episode I asked you for name suggestion for Bubbles. There were some great name suggestions, but overall, it looks like we're gonna be keeping Bubbles, Bubbles. So I'll go ahead and get her a rescue collar, and then That'll be it really for her. Good boy, Arlo. Let's give him a hug. And she's got her cone off, which is awesome. And we're gonna play with our cat wand again. Oh, is he hungry? We'll give him a treat too. I think this interaction is so cute. Like he's just, they're so into it. He's chasing his little bobtail, that's so funny. How we doing? Okay, we're almost up there. Let's request a song from Arlo. And then we'll pet bubbles. <gasps> nope, never mind. Sorry, buddy. Gotta go tell Anfonio not to mess in puddles. Poor guy. He is so bored. He's causing trouble, but really Hugo just doesn't have enough attention to be able to pay to him. He's learned quite a lot of tricks. We're begging him at this point. Oh, never mind. He's like, nope, not gonna learn anything. 
Aw, Ash loves her puppy so much. She's such a good mom. And you know what? I think what we can do, because everyone's kind of good here, is we're gonna go ahead and travel and we are gonna visit the rose gold household let's go ahead and knock on the door i'm hoping that she's home so meredith rose gold is oh there she is a special sim she is actually oh she's a notable newcomer Ooh, we'll see what what we can do with this uh -huh. look at hugo she's like hey it's fine just calm yourself sir Let's exclaim our adoration for her. I'm gonna compliment her appearance. We're gonna ask about her interests. Exclaim our adoration. So Meredith is uploaded to that hashtag Ice Pony Shelter Play Along by Alex Casual Gaming. She actually is another YouTuber who does really awesome builds, let's plays, and Meredith is. You are not going to cook in her house. No, that's rude. Ooh, let's share a personal story. I'm sure famous people love that. Meredith is the founder of Alex's Rags to Riches Legacy Challenge. So she has been struggle bussing, just trying to get herself a home. We're going to scoot her ahead a little bit for the purposes of this, because ideally when you adopt a pet, you're going to want to be securely in a living facility. And Meredith has, been, Meredith has like a home of sorts. I would definitely suggest checking out Alex's channel. I'm going to be linking it in a card up here so that you can get caught up. It's a really great fast paced let's play. So I would suggest the watch. It's super funny, but um, Meredith has been really struggling to try to get um, kind of her feet under her. She's going to be a great founder, um, but she hasn't quite had a home yet. So we're fast forwarding. This is actually one of um, Alex's builds. Her origin ID is Alex Casual Gaming. Um, so go ahead and look that up. It was something that had a raised foundation, but because I know that we're going to be looking at Dakota probably for her, and Dakota's a puppy and can't do stairs, um, I decided to put it without much of a foundation. You know what? We're pals, we're friends, so let's do a quick meal because he is, he's kind of hungry. All right, compare myself to Meredith, that's annoying. Um, how about, can I, can I share another personal story to her? Oh, look, they're talking. That's awesome. I'm hoping we can get to know her a little bit because I don't want to just be like, oh my gosh, you're famous. Here's the puppy. Hugo's seen her Let's Play episodes and he's like, I'm just, I'm so taken aback. Um, okay, so he's got, why don't we, oh, ask about her interests again. Please, I want to know you. I want to see if you are right for our puppy boy. I'm so afraid that he's going to make her flirty. Like that just seems to happen to all of his female clients. <laughs> how about we compare ourselves to Meredith? Let's see how she likes that poor girl. What she must have to put up with as a celebrity. It's like, I'm like you. People, people know of me somehow. Oh, she liked it. That's cool. It's fine with me. All right. It is getting late. I think he's had a really good first meeting with her. He's seen her place. Um, and I think this is a good time to bring up too. Meredith right now lives in a very small spot. She lives in a tiny home. A lot of people will ask when they live in small places, you know, how big is the dog going to get, especially if they're looking at a puppy. Let's clean that up for her. Let's not leave dishes. And I think the question is really whether can this dog, no matter how big it gets, fit into my life. And I used to do adoption counseling when I did work at shelters. And I think it's really important to point out that most dogs, even huge dogs, and I think Dakota's probably going to grow up to be big like his mom. Like Meredith, I'm going to I'm going to guess that Meredith is probably we'll say 135 to 155 pounds. She fits great in here, right? And Hugo is I'm going to say about 185 well, that could be totally wrong. He could he could weigh anything we want him to. But just for that purpose, both of those are bigger than almost any dog out there. And they fit comfortably in this space. So if you fit comfortably in your car and your friend fits comfortably in your car, in your apartment, in your small home, 
then an animal will too. They don't need acres and acres and acres to run most of them. They just want to have some place to be with you. And almost any space is fine for that, no matter how big the animal is. All right, Hugo, let's go home because we have a cat to move in. Oh gosh, it is raining. Okay, so let's pause this here. We're gonna go to our Manage Worlds and we're gonna edit our household. So I have some splaining to do, full disclosure. Let's go to the gallery. It's actually a really good thing. So we had three cats to vote on. Obviously we had Cinder who survived a house fire. Super interesting story. She actually got the most votes out of everybody. So I went to go ahead and record and put her in game and she's adopted. So apparently everybody else thought that she was beautiful and had such an amazing story just like we did. So good job, Cinder. She is in a home. Unfortunately, that means for us that we can't play along with her because there's no, you know, timeline for us to play along with. So next up would have been Amin. He was the second most voted for cat. So I went to go put him in game and wouldn't you know it, Amin went and found himself a home. <laughs> so good job, Amin. He is um, the one that is was in foster care through Best Friends Animal Society in Salt Lake City, Utah. And his fosters did a great job writing his bio. Fosters are just so important to rescue. They do an amazing job of bringing animals out of their shells, really getting to know them on a personal level. So that leaves Mr. Oxford. I think that he has this really English name. So we're just gonna call him our English gentleman. Um, he was the third most voted for cat. So we are going to be putting Oxford in because he has as of yet not had a home. So I'm excited to get to play along with him. So there's our boy. And before anything else, I think what I'm gonna do is give him a collar. How about red? That's perfect. And then we are going to give Miss Bubbles her collar. Look how pretty she is. I've never seen an in-game cat that looks like this. I love her ears and her big thick fur. So let's see. Let's do purple for her. I think that's really cute with her coloring. Alrighty. So Oxford from Best Friends Animal Society in Salt Lake City, Utah and Bubbles now have their names and their collars and we are ready to go ahead and play. Sorry, dude. We have to neuter you right away. Oxford Simself is super little. Why did that cost 150 simoleons, but the last one only cost 100? Yay. He's been neutered. Wonderful. And let's pick him up and we're going to get him home and we'll see how Tito and Oxford get along. I am hoping that they can play and keep each other company because Tito is such a social dog, or I will say he's loyal. He really loves spending time with Hugo. I don't know about all folks. All right, and we're gonna play with Oxford a little. Look how sweet he is. Aw, Tito wants to meet him. Okay, so let's do, we'll scratch Tito's favorite spot after we're done playing with Oxford. And then we'll have the meat. Aw, look at Oxford. How we doing, guys? It's an, aw, look at him. Perfect. Oh, these guys are going to get along great. What a relief. Can Hugo take off his cone? Yeah, he can. All right. So let's get that cone off of Oxford. And we're going to give him some laser pointer time. Look how cute. Aw. And then while these guys are bonding, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here. We now have two foster animals from two different animal rescues. As always, their shelter information is going to be in the description below. If you have any families that you wanna upload for when Oxford or Tito are available for adoption, then please do that to that hashtag IcePonyShelterPlayAlong. That will also be in the description below. And make sure you tune in next episode because I think we are going to have quite a few adoptions and I am super excited about it. Thank you guys, as always, for playing along with me and happy simming.